how to create a realistic classroom. You ask, why would you want to create a classroom? I ask, but I will also show you how to do it in a way because I'm very generous. First of all, create an array of windows. I had an array from the previous audio project, so I started with some advantage. But not as much advantage as you think, because I remodeled them to be a lot more detailed. To get, so get a plane. Add the loop cuts for the windows and extrude them. Keep extruding until you get a window shape you like. Insert the faces and extrude them to get the actual window panes on top of the frames. I added a lot of more uh, details in case I wanted to open the windows. I used the P to separate the parts and use booleans to add more details. This is optional because if you never plan to open the windows then these details aren't required. Using the array modifier was a good idea. As I tried to make the wall gaps bigger between the windows, I added an array to the separate window models too and loosely adjusted them. I didn't match them all perfectly, I wanted to do it at the end, so I had an opportunity to adjust the wall size until then. Let final adjustments to the windows, look at the height so it will resemble a realistic room. Since it's an old room I made the walls very tall. Use the solidify modifier for a plane and that will be the floor. Shift D, rotate the floor, and now it's a wall. Extrude edges, add loop cuts, cut a hole. Now it's a wall with the place for the door. I had that corridor details since the door will be open and we will be able to see the corridor. I added a mirror modifier to the wall so they won't be paper thin, which might mess up lighting, especially in Eevee. Or more like only in Eevee, so if you do this scene in Eevee then this is a must do thing. Ok, it's time to add the basic props. I made this props ages ago for my first scene, which was another Albert modern school building. It's easy to model these yourself or download some free models from the net. The point is to place the most important objects to get a rough idea of how things will look like and if they will fit into the room. Now that we have the rough concept, it's time to slowly add more details. I went back to the window array and added the gaps in, under the windows because that will be the place for the radiators. And then I went and created neon lamps for the ceiling. Very basic modeling, added an array of metal things that these lamps always have and then rotated them and pushed them up to the ceiling. Very nice. Next thing to do is model the doors. It's based on the same concept as uh, the windows. I filled the gap in the wall and used P to separate the plane. Then made it bigger as the repeated the process for the door itself. Now it's a good time to use those booleans because the door will be seen and it will look weird without the extra details. So as I said, this was the rough concept, time to expand it greatly. Add more details to everything. It's like layers on a painting. First the room and the most important objects, then the other less important ones. Why you keep adjusting and adding more details to the old objects? Let's add the teacher desk and some furniture. The furniture is made of the top of the teacher desk because, you know, saving time. This took more than 6 hours to make uh, think about how much it would take if you spend time modeling everything one by one. Add other props like this very important trash bin. It's time to add the radiators. I will borrow this from my previous scene just like the chairs and the student desk. And before you say, but I should model everything one by one regardless of the time because it's cheating, then all I can say is, it's not cheating, it's stealing, so shush. The pipes will be easy to make, I will use curves. I'm gonna strengthen them up and create an array out of them. Since the radiators try using the array modifier, it's super easy to match them up. Let's add some other pipes to fill the gaps. Nothing too fancy. Again, it's a rough concept, it doesn't need too much. To 100%. Time to add these curtains. Let's get it from my collection. If you want to create a curtain, my solution for you is don't, just download one from the internet. Or just use a plane, put it by some vertex groups, and use close simulation that works too. I used another array modifier for this, just like the pipes, the windows, the neon lights. I hope I mentioned everything using arrays in this scene, though I wouldn't leave out any objects they might get offended. Let's add the cardboard frames on the form or a simple cube turned into plate. This will hold a lot of school flyers. It's time for a last layer in our painting if you remember my, my metaphor from before. This means add more details like monitor on, on the top of the desk. Because we are modern we have computers now. And a gap on the desk for a cool cable 
hole where the cables will go through. And add the final props. After this, it's time to do texturing and finish with the final furniture. Now it's time to finalize everything and texture the whole scene. First, let's create flyers. Flyers are good and super simple. Add some planes, subdivide them, add the texture. I created this texture from editing a lot of flyers together. It's possible to do it in any basic image editing software. I will match the UV map now. Beautiful. Time to add textures to the map too and this one too. Now that it's done, time to texture the furniture and the wooden plane on the walls. I used the same wooden texture and used the basic principle set up with the MixRGB node to create two different textures. One for the wall and one for the furniture. Slight difference. For the storage I used the UV squares add-on after I added some decoration to the doors because it will tile the wood around the door edge that would be possible otherwise. By the way, I'm using the shaded viewport to see the textures better which uses EV, despite me having set the rendering engine to cycles. Add the beautiful t Rezo texture to the ground. I don't even know if I say it correctly, but that's a t Rezo for me. For the disgusting trash and dirt on the objects like on the neon lamps, the pipes and the trash bin, I will use the mass no shader which can be downloaded from the internet, I will leave a link uh, below. This has pretty fine masks like edge dirt and leaking masks. I added a fake black tape around the floor by inserting the room edges and unplugging the color texture from the principal BSDF and changing the base color to black. I also changed the color of the t texture with a mixer GB. And uh, black tape will break up the uniformity and make the scene more realistic. It's time to create a curtain material. It will be a simple material, we'll have a little bit of translucency, but I don't want it to be too see through. It is here. Type for a test render with a new curtain. Yeah, it looks alright, the noise is because I don't use portals, not yet. Also, this is a mini demonstration of the power of the mask node. Before I decided to add the portals to the final lighting, I continued with adding more models or fine tuning existing ones. I added some doors and the window handles for the final touch and things like that. Also, I copied an outdoor house from my other scene, which has this cool building in it, so when you see out of the window, the other building will be visible. And here comes the best part, lighting. For rendering, add an HDRI if you haven't added one previously, and bump up the sky emission strength crazy high, maybe 20, 30. Instead of the default value, you can use the free easy HDRI add-on for more control. I added a little ambient occlusion, which in cycles means there will be more light coming from outside. And two area lamps, use all D to duplicate them, so when you change the property of one lamp, it will change the other lamp's property too. Increase the strength, but you don't want it to be too much, otherwise it will choke out the natural looking skylight. Talking about skylight, tilt them so they will come from the sky's angle. Add portals. Since cycles portals can be made from uh, area lamps, just go to the lamp properties and enable uh, portal. I added a lot of them around the room, these will help reducing the noise. And it's time to render. If you like this video, that's good. If you turn on notifications by clicking on the bell, that's good. If you donate me on Blender Market, CG Trader, or anywhere else I'm currently available, that's also good. If you say bye, that's super good because bye.